In our previous episode we were exploring Petrovaradin Fortress. Today we will visit our next destination, Kalamegdan Fortress. Kalamegdan Fortress Fortresses built along the Danube flow through Serbia, witnessed the most interesting historical events in that beautiful country and Balkan region from antiquity to the modern history. Some of them are preserved in their entirety, and today are the strongest advantages of tourism. Some remained only on that track on this river, and about some of the Danube fortresses we still do not know much. What is certain, is that they have played an important defensive role at the crossroads of Europe, changed the invaders, have been destroyed and rebuilt and today are examples of impressive architecture and incredible stories. This short serial will tell you a story of eight forts that guarded the Danube in Serbia. About 115 battles, have been fought over imposing, impressive Belgrade Kalamegdan Fortress. The citadel was destroyed more than 40 times throughout the centuries. It was built in the first century as a palisade with earth walls around her, and developed over the years into the Roman stronghold in 2nd century, then into the Byzantine castle in 6th and 7th century. After that, becomes medieval capital of Serbia in 13th and 15th century, and finally an Austrian and Ottoman artillery fortification in 17th and 18th century. The fortress makes a unique cultural and historical complex within Kalamegdan Park. Many mysteries, legends and facts are written in the walls of this remarkable place, and some of the biggest are definitely about Nebojša Tower and Roman Well. The tower is the only surviving medieval tower of the Belgrade fortress. The name, Nebojša, means fearless in Serbian. The tower was built in the early 15th century, during the reign of despot Stefan Lazarevich. It was built as a part of the defense system which was protecting Belgrade from the Ottoman invasion after the siege of Belgrade in 1456. 
The well was built in the period from 1717 to 1731, during the Austrian Baroque reconstruction of the fortress. This building is designated and called the Large Well. Name Roman Well was first recorded in the 19th century, and was based on folk tales about all old buildings, whose origins are forgotten, often were attributed to the Romans. At the Calamegdon Fortress you will find Military Museum. This museum is the most accurate witness of changes in history at this part of Balkans and wider. The museum has over 3,000 ancient and modern items which include everything from Roman swords and helmets to items of modern war history. There are also two churches inside the fortress, Rujitsa Church, and the Chapel of Sveta Petka which you can visit. Just make sure you are dressed appropriately to enter the churches. In the upper part of Kalamagdan Fortress you will find a symbol of our capital, the Victor Monument. Bronze, male figure of 14 meters, stands and looks across the river. Statue was made in 1913, by our famous sculptor Ivan Mestrovich. Whether you just want to take a leisurely walk, go for jog, sit on a park bench and watch people go by, lay under a tree and read a book, just take in the fresh air, and enjoy in Parkland Calamagdon. It is visited by thousands of tourists every year, and is open all day and night all year round.
In the next episode of this serial, we will explore, Smedrevo Fortress.